Hello folks, Bronco Bob here with Texas Best Used Motorcycles. Here today to show you a really beautiful car. It's a 1967 Corvette Roadster Convertible. It's powered by a crate, 1991 vintage 92 four bolt main crate LS6 motor. I'm gonna start it up and let you hear it. The horsepower rating on that engine is about 425. It's got some Flow Pro mufflers on the back. So the car is fairly quiet, but still has a good sound. The paint is about 20 years old, but it's a good driver quality paint. It's got the rally wheels, and there's a few little chips that I'll show you. There's some chips around the door handle right here. And probably the worst place on the paint is on the center of the hood in the black stripe area. There's like a dimple right there on the, the hood and apparently somebody didn't get the nut all the way down on the carburetor on the air cleaner and it pushed up through the fiberglass. But all the lights work. I love the stinger hood. I love the, the front end and the body style of this car. It's just had new brake calipers. The rotors have been turned, the bearings packed. We'll pop the hood here. And I pulled the valve covers off and it has a set of 1.7 ratio rubber rockers. And I haven't really like detailed the motor. It's got the uh, ceramic coated soft manifolds that we put on. But this is just a motor. There's no power steering. There's no power brakes. It's got some new hoses. The motor runs cool. And you can run it on premium pump gas. It's got Firestone tires on it. They're radials. The top looks like it's been replaced. It's in really good shape. All the gauges work, the tachometer, the speedometer, water temperature, oil pressure, battery, fuel gauge. I'm going to turn it off. The original AM FM radio works. It's just got one little speaker on top of the dash. It kind of crackles a little bit. The clock is original and it's not working. You can see the, the four speed data tag and the 435 horsepower 11 to 1 compression that was of course the original motor and it's long gone I got this car I've known about the car for about four years belonged to a lady it was her father's car he passed away and she planned to keep it forever but life got in the way she's got three kids now so the car had to go but she just remembers as a youngster riding with her dad he had a truck that he drove every day but this was his play pretty and she thinks he might might have raced it on what I call the, the red light Grand Prix, stoplight Grand Prix. Because it does have a scatter shield in it. And a lot of people put those in even when they didn't race them just because of the nature of the body being fiberglass. But the engine that's in it is very strong. In fact... It's kind of intimidating when you give it the gas because it just, tires just kind of break loose. But I just had the brakes redone. It does have an MSD ignition. And of course with the hardened valve seats you can run premium unleaded fuel. Unlike the original 427s you have to search for some leaded high octane fuel or you have to change the, the valve seats. It's got the correct hood on it. The original paint color I looked it up was called Sunfire Yellow. 
when he repainted the car this yellow reminds me a little more of like a 71 sunflower yellow because I have one of those that I've had since I was 19 but the paint job is they did a nice job give you a look here under the hood looks like the uh, this little deal here is at a 160 degrees on the gauge it's showing about 190 you can see the grease on the hinges but it's clean under the hood it hasn't again hasn't been detailed you can see the hoses and the belts are fresh we'll get back and get a good look at the car love this body style it's got to be my favorite I'm going to take it back to the shop and put it up in the air. We'll get some pictures of the undercarriage. But it's a four-speed car. The clutch is pretty stiff. I mean, I get in it and push it, and it's a noticeable high-performance clutch. The dash is in really good shape. All the instruments look really good. The leather seats, and they're not vinyl. They're actually leather. The driver's seat showing a little bit of wear right there on the front. It's got a nice armrest. And you can should be able to see in the video that it is real leather. It's, they haven't been covered in vinyl. Door panels are in good shape. When the top's up, it has quite a bit of wind noise. Like it's not sealing real good here on the front, but it's probably just a matter of some shims and some adjustment. I like that it's got the correct rally wheels. And the guy at the muffler shop, I put on some, I think they're called Flow Pro mufflers. Yeah, Flow Pro. He kind of made the comment that those exhaust tips are pretty small for that big motor. But I kind of looked around and that's what they came with. So that's what I wanted to stay with tail light lenses are in very good shape the bezels are good the bumpers are good and it's just a it's a nice car and the beauty of this car wow I lost my focus here on the let's see what happened maybe I got up too close there it goes the beauty of this car is if it had the original 427 tri-power engine It'd be worth $100,000 plus. And if it was all matching numbers, it'd be one of those cars that you put a perfect paint job on it and then you're just afraid to drive it anywhere. And if it really had the correct motor, you couldn't even find the right fuel to put in it unless you got some good aviation fuel. The beauty of this car is it's got basically the same horsepower as the Tri-Power. It's a reliable LS6 platform. And you can drive the car. The paint is very good, but if you go to a car show and somebody leans up against the fender, you're not going to have a nervous breakdown. And the car can be enjoyed, it can be driven. And really, that big block is pretty intimidating. I just drove it down here. I kind of wound out, I didn't really wind it out. First gear went up to about 4,000 RPMs. I put it in second gear and I put it to the floor and the back tires broke loose and I just kind of let off. I was like, holy crap. So it doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's got a lot of torque. But we should have all the information on the listing. We're going to put it on Bring a Trailer, which is a really good platform. And there's a lot of people on there that know a lot about all types of cars and you can really learn a lot when you list your car because a lot of people will see things or notice things that are pluses minuses but it's all good information it just helps you learn more about cars and further your car education especially classic cars but I love the stinger hood look I just love everything about this car four-wheel disc brakes independent rear suspension they made a lot of changes on this generation that were really good good improvements 
moving the car forward. Of course, now we have a mid-engine Corvette that's pretty exciting. But this is a great piece of history, and it's one that you can take out, go eat breakfast, you can drive it to a local car show, and if you want to take it down the road and run it through the gears, she'll definitely scream. I don't know what the rear end gears are, but they seem pretty low. Um, I'm going to try to figure that out, because they could be 355s, they could be 373s, they could be 411s. I'm not really sure what the ratio is. There is a trim tag under the glove box, and that might tell us. But since it has a scatter shield on it, it's always possible that somebody has changed the ratio in the rear. It is a positive track, so we had it up on the lift and both tires turn. But sorry this video is so long, I'm just pretty excited about this car. Just it's really beautiful. But have a great day. Good luck with the bidding, and hopefully we'll send this one to a lucky new owner. We're located down here in Mansfield, Texas, and I'm Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails. I'll do a driving video as well, but I'm going to have to get somebody to hold the camera because i got to hold on to the steering wheel on this one. Have a great day. Bronco Bob wishing you happy trails.